of 2021 and I'm going to start this video the way I used to, the old way. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Anyway, this video, this first video talked about speed in the power wheelchair. So as we know, if you've driven a car before, uh, you know that depending on uh, what's going on around you, that's the speed. Either you have to slow down or you can speed up, you know, so if you're on a sidewalk, nobody's around, you can go whatever speed you want, except, you know, you got to be careful with uh, potholes or cracks and things like that. And you want to be gentle with your power wheelchair. You want it last to last a long time. So anyway, if you're in the mall, let's say you went on Sunday to the mall, you want to be careful if there's a lot of people around. People have strange reactions to wheelchairs. <laughs> they really do. Some people hurl, the sims, they hurl themselves against the wall, you know, in order to be polite and to give you space. <laughs> I usually say something before they have a heart attack and I just say, you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> so I don't know why they do that. Some people are just annoying and they'll really block your way. I, don't, I can't explain this, but, uh, and that's when you have to really slow down and figure out if you can go around them. Uh, sometimes they, I think they do it to annoy people in wheelchairs, but you know, you can just say, excuse me, you know, I'm coming through. So <laughs> some people just behave strangely around power wheelchairs. Uh, be careful with children because they see a wheelchair and they say, oh, that's so cool, you know, and they run over to you when you're in transit. So you want to be careful with your speed and what's going on around you. Again, if you've driven a car, you know how it is. You have to be careful with what is going on around you. If a child is approaching you, if someone is being annoying, and is, you know, really walking slow in front of you, Another person is hurling themselves against the wall thinking that, you know, the world's ending, here comes a wheelchair. I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, you just got to avoid not hitting someone. That is the objective here. <laughs> so, you know, you calculate your speed. Um, don't go too fast or too slow, depending on what's going on. So that was that about speed. The other one was about terrain. Uh, to be careful with your wheelchair. Uh, when I'm outside, I put on my safety belt. Now you might say, it's silly that power wheelchairs have safety belts. And it really isn't, uh, because I travel in vans and buses. And I tell you, if, if that vehicle slams on their brakes, you're gonna be grateful that you had your um, belt on. So outside the same thing, because there's cracks, there's, um, potholes, there's all kinds of things. And um, if you miss something, you know, that, that seat belt is gonna help you stay seated in your chair if the chair gets a little tipsy. If you're going downhill, most wheelchairs will slow down automatically. There's not anything you can do to go fast. The wheelchair will slow down on a hill going down. <coughs> so it, you know, you can pick any speed going up the hill, but going down, it will slow down automatically. So you can't force it to go any faster. Um, and again, you have to be observant of the terrain. If you're going in grass, if you're on a sidewalk, if you're getting off a sidewalk onto a street. So you have to be wary and observant of the terrain around you so the wheelchair doesn't get stuck in something or flip on you. Uh, so use your wheelchair is my suggestion if you are out there. <laughs> so <laughs> um, the weight of the chair, this is important for you to be aware that power wheelchairs have a weight to them. Um, my chair weighs 214 pounds, plus me in it, that's another 200 pounds. So that's a lot of weight. So you want to make sure that you're choosing the correct speed, that you're aware of your brakes and how good, how quickly they can stop. Um, 
So, you know, you got to be aware of, of the weight of your wheelchair. Some wheelchairs weigh uh, 300, 400, 500, 600. They can weigh up to 800 pounds. So, and plus you in it, you want to make sure that you're handling it with the correct speed. Um, foot rests. Uh, be careful with stepping on your foot rest because the chair can flip or, you know, it will go forward, you know, so you don't want to step on the foot rest. You want to have it up for you to sit down and I have problems with my foot rest. So they're going to change the style of the foot rest for those swing away foot rest because I really can't handle the, the flat foot rest. So you know, the suggestion is do not step on your footrest because that will cause either break the footrest or tip the chair. Joysticks. Um, if you're getting off, you should turn off your joystick. If you're getting on, make sure it's off. Um, when I'm in the grocery store and I'm looking at an aisle, I turn off my joystick for two reasons. One, children because sometimes they'll come up from behind and they want to play with the joystick, so it's really important to turn them off. Or someone who thinks they're going to move me because they want to be where I am in the, in the store. So they try to move me. So I really keep it off and keep my hand on it so that nobody fools with it. So joystick safety, folks. Batteries. Uh, let's talk about this. If you got your power wheelchair through insurance, um, then after two years, they will provide you with batteries for your power wheelchair. So if you bought your wheelchair on your own, after two years, you want to change those batteries. So regardless. So um, again, batteries through insurance, they will cover batteries that you need after two years for most, most of us. And then um, if you purchased it, you want to call the company and say, hey, it's been two, two and a half years. I'd like to change my battery. So those are all the safety tips that I have. I'm going to add one extra one here. That is, if you stall away from home, who would you call? <laughs> and this is not about Ghostbusters. <laughs> this is about saving you. <laughs> so. Um, <coughs> So have some phone numbers, either the company offers to help you or, you know, a good friend or somebody, um, the police, if you're stuck on the street. Uh, so think about that. Think about who would you call if you got stuck in your wheelchair out there somewhere. So those are all my safety tips, you know, speed, terrain, weight of the chair for you to be aware, um, people around you become familiar with your joystick and your brakes, foot rest, don't step on it, joystick safety, turn it off when you're getting off and on the wheelchair, and be careful with people around you. If somebody will come up and fool with it, I hate that. And the batteries, you know, to make sure you know when it's the two-year mark. And uh, make sure you do the paperwork to get some new ones. All right, folks, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for being part of this channel. And thank you so much for all the subscribers. We're trying to reach 500. So feel free to subscribe or find some friends who might be interested in being part of the channel and making comments and observations. Uh, that would be great. And also the likes are really important. So again, uh, I hope to see you very soon. Stay safe and uh, let us keep in mind uh, the people in Georgia, North Carolina, and Florida. If you have any chance to donate through the Red Cross, please do so. Thank you and see you soon.